Hello folks, Scott here with my 10 card one kit video featuring the My Monthly Hero March 2019 kit. I believe Hero Arts is calling this their Aquarium Dreams kit. <laughs> so let's see what we've got in some nice water blue tissue paper. We have two packages. Our stamp and die set is in this really nice aqua blue ribbon. Let's take a look at our stamps first. Okay, this is our 6 by 8 inch stamp set featuring all sorts of fish and jellyfish and botanicals, water botanicals. There's even a scuba diver over here. Looks like we've got six sentiments here with waves of appreciation. Just keep swimming. Happy birthday, fishes. You are a fantastic, fantastic. You are a fantastic friend. I would swim the seven seas to find you of all the fish in the sea. I choose you. This is obviously perfect for creating little ocean and aquarium scenes. I know a lot of people are perhaps intimidated by silhouette stamps, but maybe I'll try and see if I can get some real color going in some of these stamps. Very interesting. Anyway, we do get matching dies, of course. I think there are 27 coordinating frame cuts, so I believe there's enough dies here to cut every single one of these stamps out. And then we also get this great aquarium die, a fancy die, two of them. One of them cuts a whole four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel, and the other one cuts all of this seagrass and seaweed and then the actual aquarium frame itself very interesting i do own a small aquarium it has a single fish <laughs> swimming in it <laughs> then in our second bag we get inks this month yay we get some water reactive inks in Sea salt, sea glass, and blue water. A blue, a green, and a white. These are water reactive. And then we get blue and green droplets. I just like these. These are kind of like half domes. Blue and green droplets. That's what came in our kit. This is the Aquarium Dream Set from Hero Arts for the month of March 2019. I had some free time over the weekend. So yesterday on Sunday, I thought I might work on some backgrounds. And I thought it might be fun to try some alcohol ink background. So I started working with some of my alcohol inks. This is a background I came up with. Now this is actually using the alcohol ink on an applicator piece of felt and brushing it on. These are all the blues and dark greens that I have. Here's another one that I did that has more of the bubbly splatters from spring some of the blending solution after it had been put together. Then I thought it would be interesting to see if I could actually stencil on top of alcohol ink. So I went to my silhouette and I made my own little water ripples stencil. This is my own little water ripples stencil. This is on silhouette stencil material. I cut this on my silhouette and I took that to some of my backgrounds. This was my third alcohol ink background that I then took some Hero Arts Unicorn ink and worked that through the stencil on top of this. Really nice texture. I think you can see that on the camera. I like that. Those are my three alcohol ink backgrounds. I don't have a lot of experience with alcohol inks, but I was very pleased with what I got with this set. I then grabbed that stencil and just some plain old Distress Oxide inks to do this background. I really like this one. I did use my cheapo life changing brushes to do these ink blending. I did the background. I think this is all cracked pistachio and broken china and salty ocean. Those are the three colors I used, the, the distress oxide. Then I did take that stencil over the top and did a little bit more. And this is a good example of <laughs> how anal retentive I can be. Instead of just 
splashing water on this and sopping it up to make the little bubbles, I actually took a little snow stencil and laid it over the top and took a little baby wipe and wiped out the bubbles. It gives you really nice bubbles, but boy, Scott, come on. <laughs> I continued on. This is just that uh, stencil in unicorn white, again, on just a piece of kind of this teal blue cardstock. That's kind of fun. This is that stencil two times. I shifted the stencil and stenciled it two times on a piece of pattern paper. You can see that pattern paper on the edge there. Really interesting. I then did go to my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and channeled my inner Sandy Alnock to come up with my last background here. This is a alcohol marker background. This is on alcohol-friendly cardstock. This is my little aquarium background. I thought that was fun. I was really pleased with how it came out. And of course, you just use your colorless blender to make all the little spots and bubbles. So we'll see what aquariums, what seas, what oceans appeal to me this month. I've got to use some of that ink that came in the kit, but I've got lots of backgrounds to play with. Let's go swimming. As you know, I do like to try and use all of the stamps in a stamp set. We've got six sentiments here, so I thought I would just start making cards using these sentiments. These are my 10 cards, all blues, whites, and blacks. And for our first card on this nice dark teal cardstock, I of course go to that aquarium fancy die first, and we get with waves of appreciation. Now, I did cut that fancy aquarium die out of some black cardstock, but I didn't really care for the black silhouettes of plants on the sides. So I thought I would take some of my glassine paper. This is my glassine paper. They also call this kite paper. I took some green kite paper. I thought I would send this through the, my die cutting machine and see if I could get a die cut from this. Needless to say, one sheet did not die cut very well at all. In fact, I almost couldn't even get it out of my die. So I thought if I took two pieces and glued them together that maybe that would give us enough stiffness to actually die cut it. So I sent a piece of my glassine green paper through my Xyron sticker maker, glued it down to another piece, and die cut that. That worked. And that gave us some really nice translucent green shiny plants and seaweed. Very nice. I then took my original black die cut and I trimmed away all of the plants from that so I only had the frame left. Then I glued the glassine die cut to the back of the black frame die cut and that's the front of this card. I did use my alcohol marker background for this one. I like that you can see the little castle over here and all of the extra background stuff I did on the background. You can actually see that through this glassine paper. I did stamp a few of the fish in the background using Hero Arts Soft Granite. I embossed the little school of fish stamp two times with some silver embossing powder. Those kind of remind me of the moon fish in Finding Nemo that give Marlin and Dory directions. I think that's fun in the silver. I embossed the sentiment with white embossing powder with waves of appreciation. This is a nice aquarium die. I couldn't leave it at that, and I'm not quite sure why this sentiment was not included with this kit, but on the inside, we get thank you. <laughs> With waves of appreciation is a thank you as far as I can tell and what a perfect pun but thank you. I did create this sentiment using my Silhouette software. This is in the Rostilla font. If you go to my website I will have links to this font at that website. I thought that was a pretty good match to the scripty sentiments in our stamp set with waves of appreciation. Thank you. <laughs> I did mount this whole die cut up on some thin foam strips so that there's some nice dimension there. Really kind of stunning and you know it looks just like an aquarium to me. 
So I fiddled around with that die a little more than I planned to on that first card. So I had an idea for one of the other sentiments in the kit that didn't involve using that die. So on a light teal card base, we get, I would swim the seven seas to find you. And of course, we've got seven little circles with images stamped in them to represent the seven seas. Of course, we have our scuba diver there. That is I. I would swim across the seven seas. And then I used some of the fish stamps to fill in the rest of the circles. I did cut those circles from my stenciled background that was just stenciled on that teal with white on top. Gives us some very nice watery dimension inside each of those bubbles. All of these images are stamped with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and embossed with clear embossing powder. The same for that sentiment. I arranged those on the front of the card. Some are glued right down to the card front. Some are raised up with foam squares. I added some of the droplets from the kit. I love those droplets. And I did take my Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink and did a little bit of Distress ink blending around the edges of this card. I did round the corners of this card with my corner chomper. I would swim the seven seas to find you if there weren't sharks. <laughs> that is topped off with that great shark silhouette that is embossed black as well. I think that's fun. And I really like all of the bubbles with images in them. I would swim the seven seas to find you if there weren't sharks. <laughs> so we've got a little bit different blue card base this time. I did go back to my aquarium die for this third card. Using a third sentiment from the kit, we get, you are a fantastic friend in our lovely aquarium. I did die cut that aquarium die on some alcohol marker friendly cardstock and colored all of the plants and coral with my alcohol markers. And I decided that I would go ahead and cut that aquarium die from black cardstock one more time, cut out all of the plants again, glue that on top of my colored die cut. This is my Distress Oxide background. I did go in and add some plants and bubbles on that background with Hero Arts Soft Granite Ink. And then I did attach the aquarium die cut again to the front of the card using thin foam strips with the addition of the gray plants in the background and the bubbles, it really gives a lot of depth and dimension to these aquariums. You are a fantastic friend. There's a great little pun right there. <laughs> I did stamp these two angelfish. I used my watercolor markers and just colored the stamps themselves. I colored the stamps in yellow, two different yellows, stamped those a couple of times, and then I went in and added stripes to the stamps and stamped those down too. Gives us a little bit of definition on those two angelfish. They're looking right at each other. Of course, I used one of my Pigma Micron pens to give them little eyes. You are a fantastic friend. More of those great little droplets for a little extra shine and dimension. I really like that aquarium die. It's incredibly intricate. I think that may be the most intricate die I've received from Hero Arts to date. You're a fantastic friend. That's a great pun right there. So there's nothing on the inside. <laughs> That's three of our six sentiments. Let's keep moving along with our sentiments. On a white card base, we've got happy birthday fishes. <laughs> I thought it would be great fun to make a cake that's decorated with all of these fish images. So I actually cut a little template, made a little cake template for myself. I simply taped this down to my card front and stamped all of the images in rows going across the three layers. I did use my Distress Oxide inks for that. Once I had stamped all the rows of fishes, it all felt a little stark. So I added the negative over my cake piece and did a little Distress Oxide blending around that using Wild Honey. I, of course, am using my life-changing Cheapo brushes for this blending. A really nice, soft, yellow glow around that cake. But once I put that glow on there, I realized that the cake was like stark, stark, stark white. So I took the original template again, placed that over the card, and did a little bit of ink blending using peacock feathers 
on the edges of the cake. That gave us some nice shadows on the edges of the cake, gave us a little bit of dimension there. I actually stamped the Happy Birthday Fishes using the Blue Water ink from the kit. I did stamp that and emboss that in some clear embossing powder. Then I thought I needed a little bit more sparkle on our cake. So I took some Love from Lizzie. These are the Translucent Candy Floss Glitter Peel-Offs. And I added little strips of peel-offs on the edges of each one of our layers here. A bunch of the droplets for confetti around there. I like all the fish images on this cake. I could actually see someone making a cake like this. Okay, the conch is not a fish. It is a mollusk, but I thought it worked very well for the base of our cake there. Happy birthday, fishes. There's a nice pun right there. I love the little sandcastle on the top as the cake topper and or candles. Happy birthday, fishes. Now I go to a dark blue card stock for my card base on this next card, and we've got the Just Keep Swimming card. Now I fiddled around a bunch with that school of fish stamp to figure out how to get this pattern. I played many, many, many ways with that, looking at how many options you could have for stamping all of these fish in different waves and patterns. I kind of liked that. Ultimately, I got to the point, look, there's the circles there. I kept trying and kept trying, and ultimately I came to, oh, look at that. There's a nice little thing there. I ultimately came up with this little pattern, and I thought that was a great pattern to use. So now this background, I actually blended this background using the inks from our kit. I did the background with blue water and the sea glass green and then put my stencil over the top and took the sea salt white through the stencil to create this background. It came out very nice. Now what actually allowed me to do this pattern was I had trimmed the last little fish in that school of fish away from that stamp to use on this card. That little bitty fish is the last fish in that school of fish. And I figured since I trimmed one away, I might as well trim the second one away. So I actually cut those two fish away from this stamp and that gave us a nice tight little arc and that's what allowed me to stamp this fun pattern. It's reminiscent of a double helix or kind of a rough estimation of the infinity symbol. <laughs> Just keep swimming. That makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> I stamped those using the blue water ink from the kit. I then added a bunch of the bubbles along the edges using the stamp from the kit and some soft granite ink from Hero Arts. I did add little highlights to all those bubbles with a white gel pen. I cut that panel down to two and a quarter inches, glued that right down to my card base. I stamped and embossed, just keep swimming, embossed that in white on the right side of the card. And then I grabbed some Love From Lizzie white peel-offs. I trimmed the edges of that panel down with some white peel-offs on the two edges. That matches up our white embossing perfectly. A bunch of those droplets on the side and a couple of rounded corners finish this card. I really like how those droplets read on dark cardstock too. Lots of shine and a nice darker color. Just keep swimming. These fishes seem to be swimming endlessly. <laughs> Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Nothing on the inside of this card. I think it speaks for itself right there. Okay, that's five of our sentiments from our kit. Let's go for sentiment number six. This is on that same light teal card base. And we got, of all the fish in the sea, I choose you. And of course, I've got to complete that with, you're a real catch. <laughs> now there's a great pun for you. <laughs> now my Instagram followers did get a sneak peek of this. I shared this black cardstock that I had stamped with all of these fish stamps using the sea salt and Hero Arts Unicorn White ink. I stamped these on the black cardstock multiple times to get a nice white base. Let that dry very well. And then I took my colored pencils to all of these fish 
and turn them into what I think is recognizable fish <laughs> and with lots of colors. My biggest thrill was that lionfish. So I die cut that lionfish and use that on this card. This is one of my alcohol marker backgrounds. I did use stays on ink to stamp all of the plants and all of the coral and all of the silhouettes of the fish all looking at our big lionfish right there in the middle. I had a hard time getting a really good impression on this alcohol ink background, even using stays on ink. But I figured that since those were just silhouettes and we are under the water, that a little spotty stamping works just fine, keeps them in the background. Those guys are all looking at our colorful lionfish in the center. Of all the fish in the sea, I choose you. It tickles me that this is probably the ugliest fish in our set, and that's the one that we chose. <laughs> I did mount that lionfish up with some foam squares on the front of my card, added some more of those droplets. Of course, I love those droplets. I added a little bit of sparkle to the top of our lionfish there for a little added glitz of all the fish in the sea. I choose you. You're a real catch. <laughs> okay, I can't help myself sometimes. <laughs> okay, that covers our sentiments from the stamp set. These next four are all mine. <laughs> On a plain blue cardstock, this is just plain, ordinary blue cardstock, we get Carp Diem. <laughs> and of course, Seize the Day. <laughs> it's a good double pun for us here. Carp Diem. There are actually silver carp, such a thing as silver carp. I believe they're a bit of an invasive species. But there are silver carp, so I did stamp my abbreviated school of fish stamp four times in a little bit of a circle. I did use my homemade wreath builder template to help me get the arrangement of these fish in the perfect order. I did take that stencil again. It's very lightly stenciled some of the sea glass ink on top of this blue cardstock gives us just a little bit of a watery background there. Very subtle, very light I did turn to my silhouette portrait and I printed and cut this sentiment using that same Rustilla font. Now the teal blue aqua ribbon from our kit would not match this at all. So this is actually the blue ribbon from the July My Monthly Hero kit of last year. Blue ribbon from that matched this perfectly. A simple knot on the bottom stretched across. This is kind of a wreath, but it's not a wreath. It's just fish swimming. Carp Diem sees the day. <laughs> I think I'm on a roll here. Oh, so many puns to be had. <laughs> when I was coloring all of those fish, I actually had a plan for the two little turtles in our stamp set. So for our next card on another white card base, we get you're totally awesome. <laughs> Those are our two turtles that we colored from the kit. I did cut a strip of that alcohol marker cardstock that I stenciled on top of. I cut that to an inch and a half wide, glued that down to my card front, die cut the turtles and added them to the front with some foam tape. I did print this sentiment on the front using my Silhouette software. This is, of course, the Rustilla script font, and this is just the Arial font. Everybody has an Arial font on their computer. I thought that worked very well. Now, I wanted to add some black trim to this panel, so I did reach for my Simon Says Stamp frame die, this little scallop frame die, and I was going to add scallops to the top and bottom of this strip, but I realized that the negative of the scallops die actually worked better. So I used the negative for the strips. More like waves, less like scallops. This is a fun friend card. You're totally awesome. <laughs> Nothing on the inside. That's enough of a pun right there. That takes care of our two little colored turtles. Of course, a few of those droplet embellishments on the top. 
fun, very simple, straightforward, great pun. You're totally awesome. <laughs> okay, maybe I have a problem. <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> so for our next card, we are on a black card base this time, and we get... If you got stung by a jellyfish, I would totally pee on you. <laughs> oh, this one makes me laugh so much. And boy, let me tell you, I love that jellyfish stamp. That is a gorgeous jellyfish stamp. Now, I did take one of my alcohol marker backgrounds. I threw caution to the wind. I tried to suppress all of my control issues and just let the alcohol inks do their job. I just kept adding more ink and more ink, letting them mix around, move around. I ultimately arrived at this great alcohol ink background. I think this is one of my favorite alcohol ink backgrounds I've ever done. Once that dried, I did hit it with a light shot of sheer shimmer mist just for a little sparkle on that. I did emboss that jellyfish using some powder pink and the pastel purple party embossing powders from Love from Lizzie. These are some new, new glitter embossing powders. It worked really nicely on this jellyfish. Now, if you look closely, you can see that the top of his cap is a little bit purple. The rest of him is light pink. Great sparkle on that jellyfish. I did go to my silhouette portrait to print and cut this sentiment. I cut it four times and glued them all together for a nice chipboard feel on this sentiment. If you got stung by a jellyfish, I would totally pee on you. <laughs> now, before everybody starts screaming at me, disclaimer, okay, you're not really supposed to pee on a jellyfish sting. Now, regardless of what Monica and Joey did on that infamous Friends episode, you're really not supposed to pee on a jellyfish sting. Now, although urine does contain urea, which will neutralize the sting of a jellyfish, it is in much too too low concentrations in our urine to do any good. <laughs> so please don't tell me, don't pee on jellyfish stings. But that Friends episode turned it into such a meme, I thought it would make a great fun card. Now there's one of the most unique friendship and or love cards I think I've ever seen. I really love that alcohol marker background. I did cut that down with one of my lawn fawn stitched rectangled eyes <laughs> before gluing that to my black card base. Pretty straightforward. If you got stung by jellyfish, I would totally pee on you. I like my background so much, I didn't add any droplets to this. I thought it played perfectly all on its own. A nice sparkly jellyfish. Love that jellyfish stamp. Okay, now you may be asking at this point, where's all of those colored fish that you colored? I've only used the lionfish. I've only used the turtles from that big batch of colored fish. So for our last card in this kit, we are on a black card base, and we get Keep Your Friends Close. Anemones Closer. <laughs> my favorite pun of the month okay maybe i am seriously having some pun problems here but i just can't help myself i tell you when i colored those little clown fish originally i was like oh my gosh those are so easy to color you can stamp those in white and add the orange you can stamp those in orange and add the white a little bit of black outline on those and they are perfect little clown fish Keep your friends close, anemones closer. <laughs> On a black card base, I did use my life-changing cheapo brushes and some peacock feathers ink and some of the sea salt ink to run little waves of water through here, just a little bit of texture in the background. I then took a lot of the little silhouette stamps and using that peacock feather ink again, I stamped them off once and then stamped them in the background. I wanted this to feel like a fairly busy ocean with lots of fish in the sea. 
I did stamp two more of our little clownfish down here. I stamped a bunch of the anemone stamps in a variety of Distress Oxide colors, and I die cut those all out, added them all together in a little grouping of anemones down in the bottom. Some of our fish go off the edges, at which point I just trimmed them, trimmed the edges of the anemones. This is a really nice scene. I love those seahorses. I tell you, I grew to love these stamps every card I made. Keep your friends close. Anemones closer. <laughs> I adore that pun. I guess I really do have a pun problem. <laughs> So these are my 10 cards from the My Monthly Hero March 2019 Aquarium Dreams card kit. <laughs> I'm really pleased with all of these cards. I think we got a nice variety of styles and images going here. I really enjoy these cards. They brought out the pun master in me <laughs> a hundredfold. I hope I was able to give you a little bit of inspiration and some different ideas on how you might be able to use this kit. I hope that you don't feel boxed in by the aquarium die. There are lots of opportunities to use these stamps in a variety of ways. As far as I'm concerned, that's what makes a great card kit. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I hope you enjoy these cards as much as I do. Now this kit is still available at Hero Arts if I've managed to give you some new inspiration and maybe bolster up your courage to play with these silhouettes stamps. Please let me know which cards are your favorite. And as always, like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. I promise I will seek professional help. And as always, happy crafting. If you'd like more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com.